Welcome back to another Python tutorial and today we're going to be printing a right facing arrow. So we're going to need like a variable to store like the base of like the arrow. In this case it would be base and it's going to ask for user input. And whatever the user inputs is going to be made into the base. And then we need another variable to store like the actual head of the arrow. So you're just, we're just going to call it head. It's going to ask for user input and whatever the user inputs is going to be the head of the arrow. In this case the user inputted the star for the base and the hashtag for the head. And then over here we're going to have row 1, which is correspond to this row. If we look closely, this row has 6 spaces in it. So I, saw I define an empty space with 6 spaces in there. And then it has the head character, which would just be that. So let's define row 2 now. So for row 2, we need to print this, like the actual base character 6 times. So you can say row 2 equals base times 6. And then we need the actual head character 2 times. We could do plus head times 2. So this takes care of this row. Now we just need row 3. So for row 3 it's pretty much the same thing as row 2 just with an extra head character. So we can literally copy and paste it and do plus 3. So we're pretty much done with all the rows because we could just reuse them for this side of the arrow. So we could just start printing it already. So we can say print and there we could have row 1. So row 1 would correspond to this one right here. And then we could say print row 2. So row 2 would be this one. And then we could print oops, row 3. So row 3 would be this one right here. But we only have three rows defined, but the arrow only uses three rows because this row right here is just the same thing as row 2. So you could literally just copy and paste it. And then this one right here is the same thing as row 1. You can copy and paste it one more time. And then we're done. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay. So in the example, we they used for the base, they use a star. So let's copy it. So you put a star. And then for the head, they use a hashtag. So let's do a hashtag. And there's an arrow. I want to run it one more time with my own variable. Let's do what would be cool. For the head, let's do let's do a dash for the head. And for the I mean for the base let's do a dash and for the head let's do let's do dollar signs. And there's an arrow again. So whatever like we input will be like made into an arrow. We'll put the code back on the screen. And if this helped you at all, just leave a like and subscribe.